Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing pretty good myself. I do apologize. I'm still trying to get over my cold if I sound a little bit raspy, but we are going to take a look at something cool today. This is my first ever car from this particular brand, but this is the Diecast Talk exclusive, and it is a collaboration with uh, Tacoma Beast. That is the brand right there. I think they build like a uh, they build like cool Tacomas and stuff. And it is the Toyota Tacoma pre-runner. It is the Pugs version, which is, um, this die cast is based off of a real car. If you go to like the Tacoma Beast Instagram or whatever, they will have, you'll be able to see pictures of the real thing. Once again, die cast talk exclusive. This one is limited to, um, 1,008 models. This is number 491. You can see it on the plaque right there. You've got some nice artwork of the Pugs Tacoma on the back right there. Very cool, and it's got the Tacoma Beast logo over it. On the bottom right here, you, you do see that this is a model by GCD. That is the actual diecast brand that makes these. Toyota official licensing right there. You got like the, the, like the full name of the car right there. And uh, you got Tacoma Beast social media and diecast talk social media as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and crack this open. I forget who it was, but one of you guys saw this in the background of one of my videos um, the past week or so, and you wanted to see it. So I figured we might as well review it. It is a really cool car. You um, you can see on this little black back piece, like the background piece, you've got like some nice desert detailing back there with the Tacoma Beast logo. And other than that, it's just like any other like Inno or Tarmac Works Hobby 64. It's got the acrylic case. But this one is slightly different where when you take the acrylic off, the car is actually in a plastic tray. It's not screwed down to the base or anything. But here is the plaque, GCD, and it says Tacoma Pre-Runner Pugs. Again, number 491 out of 1008. So this was a limited edition, limited edition release. There was some chase versions of these. I... Um, was not lucky enough to get one, but the chases were pretty cool. It was the same exact car and everything, except they had like, they had like done some printing and made it to where it looked like dirty, which is pretty cool. But anyways, here is the car right here. Um, I don't know, uh, if you guys are, any of you guys are fans of like trucks or anything. I'm usually not the biggest fan of trucks. Um, I, I usually just, especially like, just like die cast wise, I usually just prefer cars, but I do, I am a big fan of trophy trucks and pre-runners like desert pre-runners. I think those in specific are really cool. So when I saw that die cast talk was doing this one with Tacoma beast, I knew I had to get one because, uh, yeah, it just looks sick and yeah, we'll jump right into it. The wheels look really nice. You've got the big fat, um, uh, tires on this one, very nice tire tread on the sidewalls as well. So very nice looking wheels. You've got like some copper on the actual rim itself. And then, um, I can't tell if there's, yeah, it looks like there's actually some lugs down in there as well. So like there's a black center cap and then it looks like there's some lugs around it. Um, one thing I did notice is that the paint for the rim is actually shifted a little bit on this rear wheel. So you can see like right, right down at, at the bottom these spokes should be that uh, copper color and then there's a little bit of overspray at the top so they didn't quite get this uh, color print on right but all the other wheels look pretty good that only pro the, that um, problem is only on this back one right here but the paint is nice it is um it actually is a metal flake paint it's kind of hard to see because it's very faint but it does have like some metal flake in there you, there you can see it right there you can see all the different like granules and stuff so the paint is really nice there's uh, a lot of like carbon fiber detailing on this too so like the window pillars right here on the doors are carbon fiber your hood right here is going to be all carbon fiber so that is really nice the mirrors are also carbon fiber which uh definitely don't see very often on trucks it does have an antenna on the top and i do like the way gcd does this these antennas are metal so you don't really have to worry about breaking them i'm sure you still could like break it off but it's not going to be as fragile as fragile as like a rubber or plastic antenna so that is pretty nice um going around to the front you do have your toyota badging on the front right here in the grill now 
this is the pugs version and you can see on the picture back here the front on the grill does say pugs i don't think they were able to do that on the die cast because i think toyota would have made them actually have the toyota thing on there that's probably why it's like that so no pugs on it but i'm fine with the toyota on there i think that's just fine the headlights do look really nice they've got like some green running lights you can see like the bulb details behind there and then you've got the orange on the um on the outsides for the blinkers so that is really nice very clear no glue residue or anything so the front headlights do look nice again the top of the hood right here is carbon fiber there's going to be there would be like some venting and stuff on this just a little bit too small to like paint in with any black i would imagine but um, the windshield doesn't have too much going on except it does have like this light bar on the top it's got the kc lights i think that's like a popular like um like rally thing or pre-runners and like sand rails and stuff like they have like these little kc lights on them i don't i think these are like the covers I think I would imagine the covers pop off and there's actually like LED bulbs underneath these. Like each one of these little circles is its own individual like bulb, but not exactly sure on that. And just know that I have seen these KC lights on stuff before. So it is pretty cool. Going around to this side, nothing really to talk about. Pretty much the same. You do have your TRD Pro logo on the front door right here. Uh, the door handles themselves are casted very nicely. They do actually look like door handles, not just like little blobs. And then um, coming around to like the back where the bed is, you do have the Tacoma Beast logo right here on both sides. And then you also have like some black striping, which I think looks pretty good. Um, the tailgate, you can see that you have the 4x4 and TRD Pro badging. You have your black handle right there. And then you actually have Tacoma um, like pressed into the metal, which is very nice. The license plate says 4X Pro. It does have California. I would imagine that this is the um, actual license plate that is on this truck. And then in the bed of the truck, you can see that there actually is a spare tire. And uh, you'll see on the spare tire in here that they once again messed up on the paint for the rim. And it is shifted a little bit onto the actual tire. So a little bit unfortunate on that. Not it's as big of a deal since this one is just sitting in the bed of the truck. And uh, you can see this little... This little piece that is like holding the tire onto the bed actually is metal. So that is um, that is pretty nice. It's not just plastic. So you won't really have to worry about this wheel ever falling out of the back of the truck or anything. But that's pretty much everything to look at on the body of the truck. Again, just a black roof. But the cool thing about these is they actually do have working suspension and they actually do roll pretty well. So we'll do a little bit of a roll test. And yeah, they roll very smoothly as smooth as you would expect from a model like this so that is nice and then like i said they also do have working suspension so you can see in there there is a blue spring there's one on this side as well and then the back you can also see that there's some springs right above the axle as well probably not super accurate looking as far as the suspension goes but uh, you do see that you have your drive line goes up back to the axle and then it's got like black plastic for the differential back here actually that might be metal that actually might all be metal uh, yeah i think the drive line is metal wow that actually surprised me i figured that would have been plastic and i didn't really know until i just looked at it but you can see you have your like your leaf springs on either side which is pretty cool and then you also have the actual like suspension pieces the suspension springs back in there there is a die cast talk badge stamped into it right there and there's actually a pretty decent amount of detail on the bottom side you can see like the exhaust pipe and the muffler and all that and then you can see like the front skid plate right here in black and then it goes over um, like where the front axle would be and then it also has like some silver skid plates down here too but anyways, as you can see, the suspension does work. It doesn't travel super far because these springs are pretty short. But the fact that it does have working suspension is really cool on a model like this. So you can see the whole back axle moving and um, it works pretty well. It is pretty nice. So um, the back suspension is really good. The front suspension, not so much because as you can see, the front wheels are separate from each other. And uh, they're kind of like the front springs are like where my pick is. The front springs go straight up 
right there. You can see the springs in there. And the actual wheel itself sticks out pretty far away from that. So it's kind of hard to get the front wheels to push up because they're kind of at a mechanical disadvantage just with the way this like plastic um plastic thing is shaped but um you can push them up and down again the i think the front i think the front wheels have a little even shorter distance than the back but you can you can move the wheels up and down with the suspension so that is cool but yeah, working suspension, it rolls very nicely detailed, some nice carbon fiber and stuff. It's a really cool model. These weren't super expensive. I think they were only like $35 USD at retail. But unfortunately for you guys, if you want to pick one of these up, you're going to have to wait until you find one on the secondary market because these are sold out. These diecast talk Tacomas and Forerunners have been very popular with collectors and they do tend to sell out pretty fast but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it's a really cool car even even if you guys can't get it it's still fun to take a look at it right but anyways hope you guys enjoyed definitely drop a like if you did subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this and i'll catch you guys next time